I'm at Matunic for the summer. Okay. And I need a job in the fall. And one of my many assorted chores at this theater, aside from doing reading scripts and doing a lot of other things, was uh, sometimes taking matinee audiences from Providence to the theater, also picking up people at the train station. And one day, they said, take the truck and pick up this producer uh, who's going to be here for two weeks trying out a show pre-Broadway. His name, he's a guy from Chicago, radio guy, Mike Wallace. So I pick him up, threw his suitcase in the back of the truck, and uh, brought him to the theater. Well, he was there for two weeks, and everybody used to come into the office and hang around and talk, so we became acquainted. And he said that he was just coming to New York also, and he was starting a new show on WABD, a 6 and 11 o'clock news show, which had no staff except his producer, who was looking for an assistant. I said, great. And he said, I'll introduce you to him. And this was Ted Yates. And in the fall, he introduced me to him. Now, I wasn't counting on that. So I had two other offers, actually, much to my shock. Uh, because of my theater connection at, at uh, Matunik, I was offered a job as assistant to the producer of a Broadway show called The Most Happy Fella. And I thought, well, that would be fun. But then when that show was over, I would be unemployed. So that didn't sound too good. And I had answered another ad, and I was offered a job in an ad agency. And I thought, well, I don't really think I want to work in advertising. And I had done the interview with Ted Yates, and my television background as I've just described, was pretty non-existent. Uh, but somehow or other, he thought, well, maybe I could do this, whatever it was, and he hired me, and I went there. I was a production assistant on the two newscasts, and I started files of 8 by 10 photos, tele-ops, the small photos, uh, uh, reprojection slides. I, kept, I set up a system so that we could find the right background for whatever the news story was. I tore the scripts apart, the carbon papers, uh, collated the scripts, uh, got everything in order. The photos we used uh, on the newscast, this is so pathetic. Uh, it was very, this was early television, this was 56. We had a, an, a, um, an easel and you mounted the photos on cardboard and the stagehand flipped the photos with luck hitting the right photo that Mike was talking about at the moment. So um, I was very busy working on these two news shows. And then sometimes I worked on a sports show at night, this at 11.15. First of all, this news program was, had I think a staff of, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, Mike Wallace shared his office with the guy that typed the, was, ran the teleprompter. He, made, he had this loud typewriter that crashed around every night writing the, putting stuff on prompter. There were two news writers, the producer and me and Mike Wallace, and there was nobody else. Later, we hired a secretary. That was the other woman. The other, there were a few women in the building working on various live entertainment shows. Everything was live then, but as far as news was concerned, I, what did I know about news? This was the only news show that I worked on, and I was it.